he looked like he was telling the truth. There were no initial red flags. Rabbi Charlie Citron Walker taking us back to Saturday, where he and three others were held hostage for 11 hours. Malik Faisal Akram showed up to the synagogue doors on that cold morning. He guessed if, if we had a night shelter. Rabbi Citron Walker inviting him in and wanting to learn his story. He was calm. He was appreciative. Uh, he was able to talk with me all the way throughout. Soon after, the 44-year-old British national allegedly pulled out a gun and told the rabbi. He had a bomb and that he wanted the area cleared. While the standoff was going on, the rabbi was trying to text information to the Colleyville police chief. During that time, FBI officials were already in contact with authorities in the UK. I was trying to figure out how he did it, why he did it, you know, if he did it alone. On Thursday morning, we sat down with Richard Hyde, the consulate general of the UK. There's a huge investigation in the UK. It's more involving multiple police forces, multiple organizations. Hyde is working hand in hand with the city of Colleyville officials and in the UK. We are combing through a lot of detail, a lot of information. The FBI is saturated across parts of England where they're digging through Akram's past. An avalanche of information so that they can then understand more clearly what has happened at this side to make sure that, um, you know, they're clear that this was a single person acting alone. In Dallas, I'm Malini Basu.